Also got fresh cap for it. Fuel filler cap with a new seal actually and put some silicone spray on this thing. It's gonna be really nice. Like that. All right, guys, I got some extra parts for this amazing machine. I got a brand new uh, hood release tongue with the hardware. This is the part number right there for the hood release tongue. As you can see, I've been using the zip tie and it's so annoying. So I can finally install that and I'm gonna install uh, brand new. This uh, goes right here, actually it goes right behind the distributor cap. And then that way I can install this cover right here on top. This one's brand new, this one's used, but there's nothing wrong with this one. So yeah, and um, it's nice actually, it, has, it gives you the diagram of how each wire goes and gets routed. So that's really nice. So I have to remove the distributor cap. First I have to pop these spark plug wires out one by one. And then remove those three five millimeter Allen bolts to take the cap out. Also, while you're here, a good idea to sand down and clean up all the contact points on the distributor cap and rotor as well i already did that yesterday so i don't have to do it again but yeah i'll show you i'll show you what i mean by that all right so after you take the plugs plug wires out go ahead and remove the distributor cap all the way because the bolts are going to go through this guy actually that's why you have to take this out so as you can see, I cleaned up, I sanded these contacts a little bit. I gotta do a little bit more. But yeah, it's a good idea to do that. Okay, so this is how the assembly goes on together. And then once you're ready, you just install it here. definitely so much better now awesome all right guys so i got a little gift for myself i found a really really good used um center vent assembly and i'm gonna use that this is my old one right here as you can see it's all cracked up missing pieces yeah so uh don't pay attention to the inside i'm actually waiting on some uh seat covers to come in because I'd, I'd love to use that uh, but i'm also doing a bunch of other work to this car so and then this is right here is a new one i'm about to open it up it's not a new one but it's used one and I actually had to fix up a small crack on it but for the most part it's actually really nice shape all right so here's this part guys as you can see it's a pretty nice shape yeah, the only thing is right here, there's this small crack, and I actually tried reinforcing it a little there, you know, but it's still in a lot better shape than the old one, so I'm going to be really happy with how it is, and it's just this part right here is just broken, but it's not a huge deal. This one's still okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start installing this guy carefully. And this is a pain. I honestly don't know if this the piece will survive. I really don't know. One wrong move and this will crack anywhere. Oh man. And this is so close, but so nerve wracking. All right, guys, so I was actually able to find this assembly for the a headrest. Uh, so we, ha we have a cable, we have a retainer, and we actually have this plastic mechanism that goes up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it on this um, uh, front right door uh, seat, actually. And then that way we can have an operational, you know, headrest because mine are actually broken that's the only thing that's not working so now i can finally have this seat have an operational headrest so now as you can see that's the mechanism right here and this one is actually broken 
it's the cable that comes from the motor and yeah we're gonna replace it with these good used parts i'm gonna actually add a lot of grease to these splines too so the actual like slider part right here this one is missing on this guy because it was broken off in half i remember so now we can go ahead and install it just there's a bracket right here just mounts to it to pull this off of the uh, headrest assembly you just you see the spring you have to pull it a little and then this pulls down so pull the spring and pull down the whole assembly so this is a broken piece of this part okay so now i'm gonna carefully install this one back on with this bracket well i actually had to use this uh little extension to push down like this on it okay i'm gonna reattach this guy now this cable just connects in here like that and it has to go through this bracket right here on the other side yep and then i'm about to apply a bunch of grease here and then we're going to check the operation of this headrest all right we're about to check this operation uh, sorry for the mess in the car i'm still uh putting the interior back together and uh working on that but yeah let's check the operation of this bad boy wow how cool is that lovely love that awesome that's all fixed and i added a bunch of grease there on those tracks.